Hi guys, hopefully you remember us. <laughs> you may or may not have noticed that we haven't uploaded a video for quite some time now. It's actually been so long that I managed to grow this dirty little bad boy. And then cut myself real bad trying to shave the rest of it off. But uh, yeah, just to show you how much time has progressed, there's a uh, facial hair. It'll be gone by the next video, don't worry. Yeah, time has progressed. So we wanted to make this video to kind of apologize for not uploading for so long and just kind of explain to you what happened and what's been going on in our lives. So a few things have happened in the past month or so. First of all, you might notice, thanks to this lovely new backdrop we've got here, that we are in a different location. That is because we moved house. So we're always going to take a little bit of time off, a week or two, just to get things actually sorted. Moving house is way more stressful than I thought it would be. I know. We've got way more stuff than I thought that we did. Yeah, but alas, we're here now in our new place. It took us exactly nine days, not including packing up our old place. <laughs> this is from like getting the truck and moving out of the old place. Nine days to be fully unpacked, all the boxes out, ready to go. We hung the last piece of artwork up in the house. We walked out the door to go see the new Fantastic Beasts movie. And, um... Yeah, I kind of messed up. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> so since we moved, we've got a cat, obviously, Miso. You've met him before. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't allowed to go outside. He's got to at least stay inside for two weeks, you know, to realise that he's living in a new place and not run away if he gets outside. So I was just about to walk out and then Tom's like, oh, Miso's coming and Miso was like running for the door. So I just shut it really quickly and I left the keys inside. Mm. So good news is that our new house is really hard to break into. Yeah, we had to call an emergency locksmith once we got back from the movie at like 11.30 at night, which was a really hard task in itself. I thought that there was like a lot of emergency locksmiths in Melbourne, but... They don't exist now. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a conspiracy afoot there. <laughs> but we managed to find one. He came out and then he was like trying to unlock the door for like a full hour. Like honestly a full hour. And he couldn't do it. He couldn't pick the lock. So we just had to destroy the lock. Drilled straight through it. Yeah, this is where the bad news comes into it. We had to spend $400. Yeah. So that was a bit of fun. That was a good like finale, I guess, of, mo of the moving in saga. But yeah. our troubles didn't end there. Oh, no, the troubles didn't end there. So the last person that lived in this house actually died in the house. We came for the first uh, like inspection viewing sort of thing. And the lady was just like, oh, you know, like, just have to let you know for legal reasons that the previous owner died in the house. We were like, cool, no worries. I mean, cheaper rent, right? Maybe we'll see some paranormal activity <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, keep a lookout for any interesting things that go on in our videos. Anything we might miss, love it. If, um, what did I name him? Ian? I think it's Ian the ghost. <laughs> it, it changes every time. Yeah, it changes every time. But if Ian pops up, definitely let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you see anything We're moving. Hopeful. Any orbs, wisps, We perhaps. think it was in this room too. We don't actually know. We're just like, kind of. We're assuming, it up a bit, but we're assuming yeah, it was the bedroom. Pretty sure it was this room he died in. Anyways. Since his un or her untimely demise, they didn't have time to <laughs> cancel the internet service before, before what happened happened. So we weren't able to get our internet connected because there was already a previous connection at the house. So we had to call all of these services and NBN and the real estate and try and get the old account cancelled so that we could create a new one. That took about two weeks in itself. And then the other week was just our internet provider just um, dicking around. Telstra <laughs> is actually the worst, I swear to God. I don't usually like name and shame and hate on companies, but they, they just screwed us around way too much. We had to threaten them with legal action, but eventually, eventually we got the internet on. So now we're back online, finally. But our worries didn't end there yet again. So I thought I was having a hard time having to be on the phone to this goddamn internet provider for like what seemed like one billion hours. 
Little did I know, I would be feeling much more sorry for myself in the coming days because I tested positive to the old COVID. Mm. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> Not. Fair to say I felt pretty bad for the first couple of days. Nothing too bad, nothing life-threatening. Didn't have to go to hospital or anything, thank God for that. But yeah, 10 out of 10 do not recommend. Yeah. And then, you know, because we live together, we share a bed, all that type of stuff. Laura was inevitably going to test positive for it as well. I succumbed. Mm -hmm. I succumbed. <laughs> but that was three days later. Yeah. So there was that delay of once I started feeling better, I remember I woke up in the morning and Laura was like, how do you feel? And I was like, actually, all right today. And she's like, that's good because I feel like death. I was like, oh, no, here we go. Yeah. So we were out of action for another week and a half. Yep. Good news, though, the internet got connected during that time. So we didn't have to be internetless during our COVID recovery. Thank God. <laughs> that just would have been the worst. There was a whole day where Laura just couldn't even play games. I had to watch you play video games, which is actually still pretty fun, though. Like, what do you guys think? Do you like watching other people play games as well? I was always the brother that played the game. I my... used to force my brother to play games so oh. I could watch him play you were, the, you were the sibling that watched? I forced him. I was yeah, like, you're cool. playing Spyro. He's like, I don't actually want to play Spyro right now. And I'm just like, wow, that's too bad. Every sibling has that sort of relationship, I think. Yeah, one of them plays, one of them watches. Again, mm -hmm. I was always the player. So the player out well and that the you're play the watcher. <laughs> <laughs> the player, the player. Oh my God. So it's actually not all bad news that we got this like forced break. There was some positives that came from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, for one, facial hair. I didn't have to worry about shaving for like three weeks. That was pretty good. It's obviously I, pretty dangerous. So. Yeah, 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 it is. So I would try to avoid it as much as I can. <laughs> but we also got a really good opportunity to tackle some of the backlog. Yes. For La once. Laura spent most of her time tackling her backlog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since we like to make all of these different videos and things for you guys, like the free games, the cat games, and we also want to be current with our stuff. It's kind of easy to lose track of all the games. As you can see, there's a number behind us. So the backlog is real. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave it at that. But I did get to delve into it a little bit. So I've been playing Astral Chain this week. I don't know if you guys have played Astral Chain before. It's not a new game or anything. It's been out for quite a long time, but I'd never had the opportunity to play it. And it had always enticed me because it looks like a pretty badass game. So I did get to delve into that a little bit and it's a really good game. The story is amazing. There are so many twists and turns and the combat is also super unique. So you have this legion that's like attached to you by a chain and you're essentially controlling two people while you're in battle, which is pretty awesome. There's all of these sorts of skills and things that you can use to do with the chain and stuff like that. It's a really good game so far. I'm up to the final boss now. So pretty excited for that, that I almost got to complete an entire game in my forced vacation. So that is a plus. But Tom's been playing some games from his backlog as well. As you guys all know, we are Switch content creators primarily, or Nintendo rather. So sometimes our other consoles get a little bit neglected. So I took the opportunity to play the PlayStation we do have a PS5, we know how lucky we are to own one of those. So some of the games on there, yeah, they've just been hanging around for a while. So I've been playing Horizon Forbidden West and oh my god is that a game. We did this video about Zelda likes, Breath of the Wild likes, and I really wanted to put the first Horizon in there if we were covering other consoles. That video might actually come out still eventually. Breath mm -hmm. of the Wild likes on other consoles. Yeah. But the first Horizon definitely would have gone in there. And the second Horizon is no different. Pretty classic action open world RPG. It did get a little overshadowed by the latest Souls game to come mm -hmm. out. But I think that's a, that's a little bit of a shame because this thing is amazing. So it's very much a sequel to the first game. The story definitely continues from where it left off in Zero Dawn. That story is really good. 
They did a really good job of giving you a little bit more of it this time. Better paced, mm. I want to say. I love the machines the most. That's what enticed me into Zero Dawn to begin with. Just the... Those enemies look so badass. Come yeah, on. they do. Come on. I mean, look at this giant mammoth guy. You cannot tell me he doesn't look freaking awesome. <laughs> Not to mention, like, Tyrannosaurus machines. There's, like, machines with antlers, crocodile machines, anything. It's great. But, yeah, combat, super fluid. Love it. A little bit stealth orientated, mm. which is pretty interesting. I, I like stealth. It's yeah. pretty fun. I feel like Laura would really like it. Stealth and arrows. Laura yeah. is always a bow and arrow user in any game. Like, Fire mm. Emblem, you chose the Golden Deer House yeah. because he's a bow and arrow user. Always. Yeah, can't recommend Horizon Forbidden West enough, to be honest. And I have now, I think as of last night, I reached 75 hours in it. So I've put nice. 45 hours into that game over the last couple of weeks, which I'm super excited about. I also beat the third Uncharted as well. Did that in a whole single sitting, <laughs> which was pretty fun. Just from when I woke up to when I went to bed, just completely smashed that out. As well as another couple of PlayStation titles I've been playing as well. So it was really nice to actually mm. pick up the PS5, actually properly sit down and play it. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll cover a little bit more, a little bit more of that in the future, but we will be sticking to mainly our Nintendo content. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> so it was awesome being able to delve into the backlog and play some of our old games and other games as well. But we did miss you guys. <laughs> And we are back now, so you can actually look forward to seeing a video from us next week. And we will be back to our weekly schedule. Thank goodness. Oh, no. Thank God for that. We did really miss doing this. Yeah. As much as we said, it was nice to have this forced time off. We would definitely have preferred not. I just always, I always like to look on the bright side. So I'm like, oh, forced vacation. But really, I was like a little bit disappointed. And, you know, sick with no internet. Well, yeah, didn't, also. Didn't help either. <laughs> we do actually have one last video that we filmed at our old house, so you can look forward to that coming out next week. That's going to be a bit of fun. We take a look at some Nintendo Switch games that aren't really games. I'm really looking forward to that video. Yeah. It was so much fun to make, so I really hope that you guys enjoy it and look forward to it too. Mm, I hope you have fun watching it. But until then, thank you so much for sticking with us. We really appreciate you watching this video if you're still sticking around. Don't forget to hit that like button. And we will be back next week. Yay. <laughs> See you later, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs>